I should- Am I back, guys? It says I was reconnected. I'm back? Oh, God. Just all of a sudden it popped up and said, Ops is disconnected. I was like, what do you mean it's disconnected? I swear to God, I, we have had a problem with, like, with every stream. I, I think it's Twitch, because it's not on my end. Slow mode is on? Oh, let's turn off slow mode. Uh, how the hell do I, can one of my mods turn off slow mode, please? It's not letting me turn it off. Oh, you turned it on for spamming. Thank you, Nathan. I think you can turn it back on now. Um, give it a second. Because it shows I'm back. I'm back. If you're, if it's not, if you're not back, refresh. Try to refresh because I am, uh, I'm back, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> Bella, back to you. She needs to have some fun. Do we know what her hobby is? Let's see, Bella Goth. No, we don't know what her hobby is. Oh my God, we got to work with her, y'all. We got to find that hobby. Oh, it's science. It's science. So let's roll. And I guess did we give her stargazing? Maybe that's how she got promoted. Maybe promoted. Promoted. Maybe that's how she got abducted. Prom you got promoted to alien abductee. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess we gave her stargazing. So she can't do that. So I don't know. What does she want to do? Read a novel? We don't even have a novel. You can't go fishing. Um, so I guess just go watch TV. Go watch a movie. Don't watch a children's movie. Watch a drama. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad to be back, too. I don't know what... I don't know her, about her hobby being golf. In my world, her hobby is stargazing. <laughs> Type exclamation point name to get the name generator in the chat. Oh my gosh, what's going on out here? What's going on out here? You're swinging your child around that look right next to a brick wall. That's safe. That looks safe to me. Uh, the kid does need to have fun though, poor thing. She wants to play with David. Oh, in her Sims 1 bio. <laughs> Hello, Holly Curious. Holly Curious. She was, she's married in now. Uh, thank you so much for the 12 months at Tier 1 Ordinary Sims. Thank you. Now let's go back and check. Cersei, you're doing fine. Bella's doing alright. She's getting her fun up. She's talking to Adam. Maybe Adam and her can become friends and he can help her get out. Oh, look. He's being so sweet to her. No, you can't go in there, Eliana. That's a secret place. You can't go in there. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mike Hawk? <laughs> I haven't. That's for sure. <laughs> golf and mini golf. Um, okay, well, there's nothing I can do for you. You're just going to stand there and stomp your foot like an idiot. There's nothing I can do to help you. Let's check on Adam. Okay, Adam still wanting to have his first kiss, y'all. So you know what? We're about to, he's we're about to go on an adventure. Let's go walk. We're gonna walk down to the teen hangout, the local junkyard, <laughs> the local junkyard, and uh, cause I think didn't he meet somebody? No, just go by yourself. Uh, we're going to the junkyard, and did, I swear he met somebody, Samuel. Samuel. Okay, we gotta try to get these two. We gotta try to see if he can have his first kiss. Now, they only have one bolt of chemistry, but that's enough for a first kiss. Come on, you don't have to be that attracted to the person you have your first kiss with. <laughs> you just have to kind of like them, I guess. I know, and they might start to like each other more if they get to know each other. Really, I don't know if there are any other gay... Uh, male sims in their age group. So they might have to settle for each other until college. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, David Gibson. I don't know about you, David Gibson. Let's go greet you. Oh, wait. Nope. 
I mean, I mean, why are you smelling the cacti? Don't smell this. Not you're gonna get pricklies in your nose. Oh, guys, I also wanted to say if anybody, I wanted to mention this on the stream. Yes, I do have the uh, time sync mod thing. There's Tycho. I wanted, I wanted to. There's Samuel. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got too much going on. Uh ooh. Kiss is just there. Okay, hold on. I want to mention on the stream, I am thinking about hiring an editor to help me with my YouTube videos. So if you guys know of anybody who has experience editing Sims videos, please tell them to email me or send me a message somewhere. Um, because I'd really like to hire somebody who knows how to edit Sims videos. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like a specific type of video. If I can. So I'm just want to throw that out there in the world. I'm going to post that around and see if I can see if I get any bites. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Preferably somebody who uses like Adobe Premiere or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I decided I want to make more content, but I want to get somebody to help me with editing. I think it's time. I think it's time. I have 75,000 subscribers now. <laughs> yeah, so just let, let me know if anybody knows of anybody. Anyone. Okay, so let's just go. Should we just go in for the first kiss, y'all? Let's just go. No, I will not be affected by a hurricane. Is there a hurricane coming? Um, I live very far inland. Far, far from the ocean. Oh my god, here it comes! <gasps> oh, oh my god, look at their noses! <laughs> oh, so cute! Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, so cute! The gays have won! <laughs> yes, he. both of these two are gay. And so they have had their first kiss together. Aww. And now they have a crush on each other, y'all. That's so cute. Okay, he wants he wants to go to college, and that's all. Oh, hey, what's going on over here, man? All these townies are jerks. They're always fighting everybody. Jeez. Jeez, let me... Oh, look at these two. Look at these two flirting it up. <laughs> There's Tycho. Oh! Oh, Samuel just got a crush on him! Yes! They do have great noses. Aw, oh, thank you, Nathan. <laughs> thank you. I knew you would congratulate me. It's actually a fight club. I know it's where all the teenagers go to fight. This girl right here, she's a real mean girl, Cameron. She's always picking on the other Sims, and this guy, too. I know you like to kick that. I know you like to kick over that. Flamingo. Tycho's leaving. He's like, I'm out of here. I can't deal with this anymore. Oh, look at these two. All right. We've just got eyes for them. We don't care about the townies right now. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to, uh, awesome possum. Meow, meow mix. Thank you. And thank you so much for the Prime, the three-month Prime sub, Lucy Waugh. Oh, and I gotta ask me anything from alt 90s chick. Have I found any new CC lately? No. Uh, but we were just talking about earlier doing a custom content shopping stream because I need to go. I need to go shopping. All our townies are aging up. All our townies are aging up. Um, so we might do that in the future because I have not been CC shopping in a while for The Sims 2. And thank you for the Prime Sub Avocado Cat 3. I think I got everybody there. Oh, I gotta, I can't save right now. I did get a beg for gift sub from Cole Brun B. Jorg. <laughs> K-O-L. Is what it starts with. Oh, you want a screenshot of this? You want a screenshot of this craziness? Hold on, we gotta get the burn pile in there. We gotta get it all in there. There we go. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do a print screen because that's going to be a bad screenshot. 
Um, so, you know what? I'm thinking about taking out the townie aging mod because I really don't like it anymore. It's aging up everybody too fast for my liking. I like to choose who ages up in my townies, so I think I'm going to take that out. Um, yes, I love the Victorian era. I love it. <laughs> you took your NPC made aging mod out. Yeah. I think I'm going to take it out, too. Tycho came back for more. And look, it's our... Dawn! Oh, my God. Everybody leave Dawn alone. Everybody leave Dawn alone. She is my favorite sim in this neighborhood. You leave her alone. I love Dawn. Dawn got a little bit of a... Uh, for, her, for her teenage birthday, she got a nose job. She got a nose job because she's being bullied... She's being bullied by the other Sims because of her nose and also because her family was like super poor and they lived in a little dirt shack, a little dirt floor shack, but now they have money. And guess who's laughing now? Guess who's laughing now? It's not Tycho. <laughs> poor Dawn. But they have always fought. They have never gotten along, you know, these two because they're cousins. Uh, but this girl over here was really mean to Dawn. But Don's like, look at me now. <laughs> He's like, he is laughing, I guess. <laughs> it's D-A-W-N, Don. But I say D-O-N and D-A-W-N exactly the same because I have a southern accent. So, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the prime sub, Minion Cuckoo Q. <laughs> Okay, well, and I also, another thing I want to do is update my custom content sites list on my website because it hasn't been updated in a while. If you play The Sims 1, I recently put a whole list of active custom content and mod sites for The Sims 1 on my website, and there are like a lot of them out there, surprisingly, but I need to update my Sims 2. Um, okay. I think we're going to go ahead and send Adam home because it's getting kind of late. And people are getting rowdy. People are getting out of control over here. And he already had his first kiss anyway. So let's walk home. Thank you, Samuel. Samuel's long gone anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. No, taking out mods does not cause corruption. Um, it, there may be a couple mods that you don't want to take out, like multi-pollination technician, but in general, no. Uh, thank you so much for the nine month prime sub light and frost. Thank you so much. <laughs> Crying at the junkyard. <laughs> uh, do you charge them taxes, Maria? That's what I do. That's how I keep my Sims poor. I charge them taxes every round and then I take it out of their money. <laughs> The food, yeah, you don't want to take out custom content food either. Uh, most mods, though, are safe. You could just look, go look at the anti-corruption list on Sims Wiki, or I even made a video about the ones that you can't take out. <laughs> yeah, 98% you can, yeah. I take out in and out aging mods all the time. It doesn't cause any problems. <laughs> I think it's only the really old a custom interaction mods that cause the hug bug. It's true. You can take out the multi-pollination technician ones if you do it right. But I just prefer to tell people not to do it because I don't want them to blame me when they do it wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's check in on everybody. Cersei. Let's see. You need to get some food, honey. You need to get some food. Why don't you make some dinner for your family? Let's make some mac and cheese. <laughs> Multi-PT makes it so that you have multiple pollination technicians and they can have much better genetics than the default ones so that your alien babies are more good looking. And they're not all related, because there's multiples. 
Uh, I haven't really played The Sims 3 lately besides for my website, like articles that I'm writing for my website, but just to play it, no, I haven't. But I have been wanting to play it lately. Uh, okay, Cersei gained a skill point. Good for her. Everybody aged up a day. We're So the next round that we play, Ceres is going to age up to a teenager. I can't wait for that. <laughs> um, I've been playing mostly The Sims 4, but I got to be honest with you. I'm really getting tired. I'm getting bored with The Sims. Let me guys tell you something. I built Pleasant View meme time. Oh, God. I don't have any memes. I'm sorry. I'm not in the Discord right now. I don't have any memes. <laughs> I don't have any. I forgot to turn that off, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so during my break, I built Pleasant View in The Sims 4 and even a lot of Blue Water Village I've built also in The Sims 4. And I played through one full round and then like half of another round. And now it's just... I, I don't know. I'm bored. I'm tired. <laughs> what to say i keep opening up the game and like going into my family and i'm like hmm all right <laughs> it's just yeah it's you know how sims 4 gameplay is it doesn't i'm try i tried so hard too like with mods because there's so many mods that i love in the sims 4 especially like wonderful whims and woohoo wellness are so good i wish i if i had those in the sims 2 it'd be perfect um, but yeah, just you just get so bored. It just everything feels the same. <sighs> I don't know. I still keep building in it though because I find it fun and relaxing to build. But I don't know. I get burned out very quickly in The Sims 4. Like it is. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. But I, I did I did take a long break from The Sims 2. I haven't been playing The Sims 2. Because I kind of got burned out on The Sims 2, too. But it takes me, like, years to get burned out on The Sims 2. It only takes me weeks to get burned out on The Sims 4. <laughs> yeah, the oldies in The Sims 4 is awful. They're about to die, though. That's the only good thing. Oh, she just ran out to greet Loki. Oh. He just got home from work. Where? Come here. Hello, Daddy. Aww, this is cute. I love that they do that. It's adorable. Okay, let's check in on Bella, too. Oh my god, Bella! How can you be that hungry and tired? Jeez Louise! Okay, as soon as her uh, energy goes up, we gotta get her up to eat. Just a little bit more. Okay, okay, get up. Get up. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. <laughs> get up here and eat this mac and cheese. Come on! Yeah, I mean, I think that's everybody's dream game is to have the depth of The Sims 2 with the create a sim and build by and worlds of Sims 4. Or even the mods of Sims 4. My god, the mod the Sims 4 mods are the best mods ever. <laughs> but you know, you can only mod a game so much you can't make it good. <laughs> I don't need to I don't need to roll the pacifier for this because um Bella's never had a baby. By the pollination technician. We don't know which one's the father. Are my hopes high for The Sims 5? No. <laughs> no, they're not! On I, If I'm going to be 100% honest with you, no. I'm very worried. I'm very worried about Sims 5. Um, but they, you know, it is in production. I don't know if you guys know this. It is confirmed Sims 5 is in production. I just really hope, look at these two out here in the rain. I just really hope that they learned from their lessons in The Sims 4. That they learned from their lessons. They learned a lesson from The Sims 4 that they have a chance to do it right. I really hope. And also even The Sims 4, I'm really encouraged by them asking for feedback about what people want to make the game better. That's encouraging and I hope that they do make those fundamental changes Honestly, I don't know if if any I don't know if anything can be done to make the game great. <laughs> but, you know, I ha still have hope. I still have a little hope. Always, I always have a little hope. Um I never lose hope completely. Let's see. Did you Okay, you need to eat another bowl. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Okay, go to the bathroom. 
We're going to get her needs all taken care of. I'm going to neglect the rest of the family. Hope dies last. Yeah. You think Sims 4 Sims are ugly? I don't. I think they're beautiful. I love the graphics in The Sims 4. I know that it's very divided. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I personally love it. I love the way the game looks. It's beautiful. I like it. Now, I would prefer not to have the clay hair, but it's okay, I guess. Yeah, if I could choose to ha not have clay hair, that would be great. I hope in The Sims 5 they give us... I mean, I can't even imagine what the graphics are going to look like. I can't wait till we start getting news about that. Uh, oh, we got a salsa station. Okay, let's see. Where's Do we have a radio? Yeah. All right, Loki, you get to be the lucky person who turns it on to salsa. Put those bowls down right in the kitchen floor. <laughs> okay, switch to salsa and then go clean that up. What are you doing? You're in the bathroom. What are my kids doing here? You're playing chess. You need to eat. And we let the macaroni go bad. <laughs> go uh, have yourself a TV dinner. That sounds like something a teenage boy would have. <laughs> we need, like, some pizza rolls in here. I love the clothing in The Sims 4, yeah. R&B? Okay, we'll change to R&B in just a sec. Where's my, where's my child? Okay, she's sleeping. She's good. Okay, Loki. <laughs> we'll play salsa for a minute, then we'll change it to R&B. Uh, Loki, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do with yourself now. Just whatever. We need to check out. We need Bella to go to sleep. Go to sleep, please. Yes, I hate that redacted UFOs. I hate the chin thing. Like, now, if have you guys ever, like, put two Sims and create a Sim in The Sims 4 and just started, like, randomizing their children? And they'll have, like, five out of ten of their children will have no chin. What the hell is that? Where's the chin go? Why is that a thing? It's like impossible to get, you know, the genetics are terrible. The genetics are terrible in The Sims 4, and I will take that to my grave. The Sims 2 has the best genetics. Um, it really, The Sims 2 really has the best genetics. The Sims 4 genetics are just so overly simplified, and they, all the, all the children look exactly the same. <laughs> it's tragic. Degenerative chin disease. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. They all have degenerative chin disease. Oh, did you turn that off? Turn that back on. We gotta listen to R&B now. R&B is gonna be the soundtrack of Bella's uh, alien baby being born. Switch to R&B. And, okay, Cersei, you wanna take a bath? That's fine. Whatever. Let's go to go to bed. So I don't have to deal with you anymore. Just go to bed. After three or four generations, none of them have any chins. I've never gotten to three or four generations. To be honest with you. In Sims 4, you need to use long chin templates to have kids with chins. Oh, jeez. That that is they need to fix that. That is a big problem for me. Because genetics are, are like one of my favorite things about playing The Sims. I love to see how the how the children look like the parents, which features they get. Like that's just fun to me. And The Sims 4, it's like, hmm, I'm gonna end up with a chinless blob of clay that has no looks nothing like their parents. Fun. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get, sometimes you get the teenagers that have the weird hit, uh, shoulder thing. The tiny shoulders. What is that? What is a tiny shoulder? <laughs> They're preventing Habsburg chins. Yeah, I guess so. They're over-preventing. Um, okay, don't you need to be in bed, Adam? Oh my god, it is so late. It's 2 a.m. You get, Oh my god, he still has a little boy's bedroom, y'all. That's okay, I guess, for now. <laughs> we should probably redo that. And then Cersei, okay, she's gonna eat and then she's gonna go to bed. 
The first time you played Sims 4, you achieved the 1 million simoleons of the second generation. I don't like the money either. That's another problem I have. It's too, you, it's too easy to make money. The whole game is too easy, really. In my opinion. You want salsa again? Okay, we'll turn it to salsa again after... We'll have to get Cersei to do it. Somebody turned off the radio. Yeah, I have to fix those weird body shapes too. I can't stand it. And I don't like to do that because I want my Sims to be their genetic selves. But when they look like they have deformities, you know? <gasps> Your Sims are always deathly skinny. <laughs> my The funniest to me is when they have those wide hips, but they're really thin. Like... What is that? Like Nate has in my uh, legacy challenge. His hips are like really wide, but he's like this thin. It, it's so weird. Bella's high. That's okay. Her hygiene doesn't count towards her pregnancy health. So I'm going to let her sleep because that's more important. Okay. What did you just cook? I don't know what that is, but you're going to put away the leftovers this time. Damn it. No, you can finish eating first. Oh my god, finish eating. <laughs> Small top and big booty. <laughs> yes, the narrow hips too. I've had that happen too. <laughs> like, what is that? Okay, I know you're tired, but you gotta turn on R&B first. <laughs> turn on. Come on. We're just a few short hours away from alien baby time. You will sleep in your own filth, I say. Okay. So, oh, is... Oh, oh no. No, don't switch to shopping. I think it's on R&B. Damn it. Switch to R&B. <laughs> then you can go to sleep. I don't know why you're staying up till 4 a.m., Cersei. My God. That's not R&B. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sim body standards, yeah. <laughs> Still, I feel like the the body like the bodies that you can create in create a sim are the most realistic ones we've ever had before. So I'll give them that. But yeah, the thigh gap. <laughs> you got big old thighs they don't even touch. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, but Cersei doesn't seem like the type to stay up till 4 a.m. to me. But she did tonight, so. Uh, no, why are, what's happening? Why are you awake, child? It's too early. It's too early. What kid gets up at 4.30 a.m.? Yeah, I wish Sims 3 Create a Sim could do what Sims 4 Create a Sim can, yeah. Oh, yes, let's do a prediction. Yes, yes, good idea. Okay, prediction... Um, start prediction, a uh, gender of Bella's baby, is it going to be a boy or a girl? I can't see the whole, the whole box, so I don't know what color I'm putting those on. <laughs> so I hope that I didn't uh, mix up the colors, but anyway. And I hope I spelled everything right. <laughs> there you go. Put in your, uh, put in your predictions. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, really. I don't have one or the other that I would prefer at this point. Okay, let me do a hydrate. Oh, I was supposed to put the station on salsa. I put it on R&B. <laughs> uh, all right. You go to the bathroom. And then you can do some jump roping. That's a good thing for you to do this morning. Everybody else is still asleep. We're going to keep our eye on Bella. She's going to be waking up in about two hours going into labor. Is the prediction already over? <laughs> Dang, I wonder if I had it, it. It was set on 30 seconds. I couldn't. For some reason, the, the window was cut off, so I couldn't see the time. I thought it set on a minute. Um, oh, well, I hope some of you guys got your predictions in. <laughs> it's the prediction's already over. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's over. It lasted like 30 seconds. I'm sorry. 
We're on the letter G as in Gregnet. She's due in an hour and 15 minutes. We're about to have this baby. Yeah, it counted your vote. It counted your vote, Planet BS. You voted for boy. Bella's having a baby with a pollination technician. She got abducted by aliens. <laughs> uh, no, I'm. You guys can submit your names to the name generator, and I'm gonna choose one when the baby's born. All right, she's doing okay up there. Jump rope and away. I will re-roll if I get Gilba or Gregnant. Oh, here it comes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We gotta get a good... No, get down here. We gotta get, get, get a good shot of this. Of Bella's... Bella in labor for the... This is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, here she is, guys. Uh, oh, let's press... How girl, girl get pregnant. Get pregnant. <laughs> How is Babby formed? I don't know. Oh, it looks painful. Here it comes. Okay, it's just one. We didn't have twins. Oh, the stupid wall. I knew the stupid wall was going to blow. Dang it. She had to just give birth in the corner of the dungeon. Basement. We can't see anything. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, come here, Nubu. Let's see you. It's a boy. It's a boy. Okay. Let's go get a name, y'all. Let's go get a name. Um, so we are going to do a boy name. The letter G. It already has a boy name on there, but we're rolling a new one. Okay, here we go. Did it go? Did it go? Did it run? Come on. Ah, crap. I don't think it's working, guys. It just keeps giving us Glenn over and over. <laughs> it's giving us Glenn. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, Let's see what names you guys put in. Look, 9-2020. We have been using this for a while. Let's go down and see what names you guys put in, and I'll just roll uh, manually for th from these. Okay. No, oh my god. It's not Glenn. Thank you so much for the two month tier one sub, Xander. Oh, geez, Louise, come on. <laughs> I gotta scroll through all these names. My god. <laughs> We're getting, these are all names that you guys have submitted over the. Over the last year, basically. <laughs> we might have to ask Nikki to look at this if she has a if she has a chance. Oh my god. Okay, screw that. Hold on. Hold on. I'll just start at the top of the I'm not go gonna do that. Here they are. Somewhere. Somewhere there they are. Okay. 828 G names. Okay. So there are, how many? It doesn't tell me how many. 166. There's 166 names that you guys submitted. So we are going to roll from those. So we're going to go to random.org. And we're going to roll one through 166. 150, that'll be easy. So we just need to count 15 up. So 66, 65, 1, 50, wait, <laughs> I lost count, 1, 2, 3, 4, no, it's 100, wait, 16 up, right? There's 166, I need to go 150, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Bertrand, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16. Gerald! Who put the B names in there? <laughs> it's 
It's Gerald. <laughs> Wait, what? I think that's right. Gerald? Yeah. It's Gerald. So, little baby Gerald it is, y'all. <laughs> Gerald the alien baby. <laughs> we'll call him Jerry for short. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Gerald. Bertrand. Somebody put another B name in there. Oh, I bet they thought I said B instead of G. Gerald? Little baby Gerald. <laughs> Who could look at a sweet little baby and name it Gerald? <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub, Geode Soup. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, he's got alien eyes. He's got alien eyes and black hair. So, yeah. You get, pr Bella's the proud mother of an alien boy named Gerald. <laughs> bring back, bring back Glenn. <laughs> okay, let me do the prediction. Let me give you guys your points. Uh, thank you so much for the prime sub, Sue Youngs. Sue Youngs? I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry. Choose outcome. We're going to choose boy. There's your points, guys. <laughs> Now let's put the, are the walls down or like, why am I not, I guess, oh, because it's basement. Okay, now we have to buy baby stuff to put, to keep down here. So let's get, um, let's get a crib and all that jazz. We're just going to get like the cheapest stuff. Do, 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 do. We'll do a nice alien green color for the crib. That's nice. There's your crib. And uh, I guess that's all you really need right now. I guess we could put a bottle fridge down here for her. Ba, 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 ba. Where's the bottle fridge? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, under fridge, duh. Okay, bottle fridge and crib. That should do the trick for now. Um, Let's see. I don't know if we'll, will we be able to see the father from here. Yes, it's Pollination Technician 11. Oh, look, he's pretty good looking too. Pollination Technician 11 is the father. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I have a, I have a nosebleed, I think. I like taste blood. Oh my God, I hope that's not my blood pressure. I think I have a nosebleed. Screenshot? I mean, but it usually you get a nosebleed from your blood pressure going high, not low. That's weird. Um, okay, yes, let's get a screenshot of this. Get one from that. Let's get one with Loki in the background. Isn't it weird how Loki was the one down here with her? Um, okay. Like, I feel like I have, like, my nose was running, but, like, I think it's bleeding. <laughs> Just wipe it on my hand all gross-like right in front of you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the baby. Loki likes Bella, yeah. No, I'm good. It's not like, it's not, like, bleeding heavily or anything. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay, I'll just uh, wipe my nose in front of you and be gross. <laughs> he helped her deliver the baby, yes. <laughs> Somebody make a clip of my grossness. I know Cersei's in the medical career. She didn't even care. She's like up here sleeping. She's like, whatever. <laughs> Loki's the one. Loki's more interested in the baby. He's the scientist here. Uh, all right, so let's have her feed the baby. Cuddle the baby, play with Gerald, give feed bottle to Gerald, and let me write down in the spreadsheet too that we have little baby Gerald so I don't forget about him. Uh, is What's his last name? Oh my God, what is his last name? Gerald, is his name Goth? <laughs> Gerald Goth. <laughs> He's Gerald Goth, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. 
That's weird. It is it's very it's very reminiscent of that, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cuddle the baby and then look, Loki is all excited. Already did feed bottle. Mortimer has a new baby, he doesn't even know it. She might be still married, but he's not still married to her. <laughs> he's married to Dina. Cersei's got to go to work in an hour. Look how big this family is now. Oh my god. As if it wasn't hard enough. Get up. You got to go to work, lazy bones. Get, up, get yourself up and ready for work. You don't even know that the baby was born. You're just up here snoozing away. We should... Yeah, we should call him subject. I like that idea. Because he's not a goth. This baby is not a goth. You know... We should change, we will change it to subject. Can we use the, hold up. Can we use this to change a name? Hold on. Can I put this on the wall down here? What's wrong with you? I want to go on the wall. Fine, we'll put it up here. Oh my God. I think we can use this to change the name. Uh, let's see. Edit? I don't think we can do it till he's a toddler. Um, okay, we'll wait till he's a toddler. We'll change it. I think we can do it on a uh, Sim Blender, but I'll just wait. <laughs> They're living their best life in the dungeon with the bottle fridge, yeah. I love the song. That's a groove. <laughs> oh yes, I need to save. I need to save. Thank you. Good call. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Did I sell that thing? I did. <laughs> I did. I just did it. I didn't remember if I did it. Uh, we'll do, we'll do... Enter last name. Okay, let's see if this works. Put the baby down. Hello, Pippa. I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay, wait, is this the first name? Okay, guys, how the hell does this thing work? Because I'm going to end up naming her Bella Bella again. Is this the first name or is this the last name? I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. Okay. I named her Bella Bella. I just named her Bella Bella. <laughs> Enter la Why does it come up with a first name? Oh my God. Linda, Linda. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. You've been changed. You've been forever changed. Okay, that worked. Now, um, copy last name from. I can't copy her last name. Oh, copy my last name to Gerald Goth. Okay, there we go. Okay, is this his first name or his last name? I don't know. Do I type subject in here? Nut, nut. <laughs> Do I type subject in here? This is first name? Okay. God, why is that so confusing? Oh my God. Now we're subjects. Oh, she stinks after giving birth. She needs to go take a bath. She's leaving. The baby should be fine for a little bit. So she's going to take a bath. And let's check in. Our kids are at school. Uh, Cersei is going to work. Loki is going to work. So it's just going to be Bella and the baby. What? Go take your bath. Gerald, Gerald and Bella, Bella. <laughs> subject, subject. <laughs> first name, first name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's that is that one always can I always end up naming them like two names. 
Do I have, I keep telling myself, I don't know if I have the sim manipulator. I keep telling myself I need to get the sim mani manipulator again. I used to have it. I don't know why I took it out. She can escape, but she won't dare escape because of her baby. <laughs> Bella and the baby. Sounds like a Sims drama. Uh, next fa- Okay, so we're actually, we're done with this family. Now. Because we're actually, we should have ended on Monday morning. Um, so the next family is the Smiths. We're gonna be playing the Smiths. Uh, little Gerald, let me put Gerald's subject into the spreadsheet. Okay. And Bella, subject. <laughs> and their role in the family is subject. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're going to go play the Smiths. So we have Paul, Jenny, Jill, Judy, and Jade. Yeah. Jill is, I believe Jill is an adult now, isn't she? Let's go find out. Let's save here. Yeah, all of the Smith families ha Smith family are J names. Uh, let's go to the neighborhood. She didn't go to college. That's right. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, you can use both Sim Manipulator and Sim Blender. You can use both. The sim, the sim manipulator has a few things, does a few things that the sim blender doesn't do. So having both of them is, is good. Okay, here's the Smith household. And let's play. Let's find out what's going on. She's an un uneducated adult, yes. Yeah, I accidentally put the travelers in when I was do when I was messing around with my game. Yeah, I know you want to have 10 children, but that's out. That's out of the question. You're done having kids, damn it. She wants to have a baby. Well, you know what? You're going to be an elder in eight days. She also fears having a baby. Okay, is she on birth control? Because if she's not, we're putting her on right now. Uh... Oh my god, is she pregnant? Oh, birth control is on. Okay, okay. Woo! Woo! I did make her younger to try for another baby, but that was before I started doing my baby rules because we just had too many damn babies. Uh, okay, so let's check on everybody. He also fears having a baby. You're good. It's 3.33 a.m. and everybody's awake. That's great. Your schedule's gonna be all off. Uh, Jill... Wants to dance with Buck. <laughs> That's what we have locked in. So she's still with Buck. They're in love and everything. But uh, they haven't wanted to get married yet. And then we have the girls. Let's see. They're going to age up in three days. So we're going to have we're gonna have two teen girls. I'm so excited to see what Judy and Jade are going to look like. Um, so here is what they actually look like right now. Come here. Oh my god. Would you get up here? <laughs> So, Judy has a bit of the alien face. And Jade has more of a normal face. They're gonna be busted. <laughs> How dare you talk about sweet, innocent children like that, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all awake. They're all awake. They should be asleep. So, I obviously did something. I don't think I can send them back to bed now either because <laughs> they're too they're too much awake. I can't send them back to bed. And let's check on Jill. Jill still has her lovely room, which we decorated for her. I think it still suits her. She's just living at home, not doing anything with her life. Uh, she does not have a job. <laughs> she she didn't go to school. She's just living at home. <laughs> I don't know what she's gonna do with her life. Yeah, Judy is Paul's twin, yeah. Uh, I think they are in the same generation as Dawn. Let's see. They're in the first generation. They're in the same generation with Adam. And with, uh... Where the hell is Dawn? Wait, did I get that right? No, I was looking at... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at their age. <laughs> they are not in the generation... 
they are in the same generation. Yes, with Adam and with Samuel and with Dawn. Yeah. Wait, I have Dawn as generation three, so I don't know how that's going to work out. She might be, I think she's slightly older than them. I think she's slightly older than them. Uh, but they're going to be in the same generation as Samuel and uh, Adam. So I don't know, these, like, our sims have no, no partner material. Um, they, I don't know who they're going to be partners with. We might have to wait until they go to uh, college. And find somebody in, in uh, La Fiesta Tech for them. Which I have to add the populated La Fiesta Tech. <laughs> no, Adam's gay. Adam and Samuel are both gay. So those two are getting together, and then these two have nobody. <laughs> or townies. It could be townies. Too. But I was hoping they can meet somebody at college. If they don't meet anybody. If they don't, like, find a townie that they really like. Um, alright. Let's go back and check on you. You need to go to the bathroom. She's in here laughing her, her butt off in the bathroom. Uh, you also need to go to the bathroom. That's probably what she was trying to do. Cole told her a hilarious joke and then stole the, to the toilet. <laughs> and you are good. Why don't you know what? Since you don't have a job or anything, why don't you just make some food for the family? Let's go make some yogurt. Yogurt is, sounds good to me. I had peach yogurt yesterday. <laughs> Samuel is the adopted son of Nervous and Pascal. Oh, we got R&B going on. Okay, somebody come turn it on R&B out here. Uh, switch to R&B. You never get redhead sims when it's a blonde parent and a red parent? I do. I do from time to time. Uh, I'm going to put the La Fiesta pre-maids in my neighborhood. We need them. We need those genetics. <laughs> I know the greeting is my favorite part, Neon Nope. <laughs> That's the most fun part. You don't get redheads either? Let's just be bad luck. <laughs> I know the equal genetics is less realistic, but I still prefer it because it's just, it's more fun to me. Yeah, exactly. It's more fun. Your Nina and Dawn got a blonde baby the other day. <laughs> um, I don't think I have the hydrant, the car generating hydrant on this lot. Right, what are you doing out here, Paul? Okay, he's doing fine. All he wants to he wants to have a grandchild. Ten children is not gonna happen. He wants a relative to get married. He wants Jill to get married. He's like, you need to get married and get out of our house. You're an adult now. <laughs> get out. Uh yeah. So anyway, that's what he wants to do, so we can't really help you with that. Oh, he does want to get a skill point. What's that? Charisma. Okay, he wants to practice his charisma in his old age. So let's have him go over here and practice his speech. And let's see what Jill wants to do. She wants to dance with Buck. You know, let's invite Buck over. Let's invite him over for a dance at 7.56 a.m. Uh, I just have my regular terrain replacement. In Strange Town. I think. I think I do. Uh, Buck. Just invite over. Wait, did I put in the... Oh, no, I did put in a different one. I think... Yeah, I did put in a different one. But I said I was going to take it out because it doesn't match the surrounding lots. And that when you're in lot view... Yeah, I never got around to taking it out last time. It looks really good with a backdrop, but when you're on the lots, like, see how it doesn't match? That's annoying. Um, okay, Buck is going to be right over. 
So we're going to have them dance and maybe we'll get a little romance going there. And what? who do you want to talk to here? Ishmael? Oh, Ish you're, related, you're related to Ishmael. Uh, you want to gain a skill point, though. That would be nice a nice thing for you to do. Let's see. You've got creativity and charisma, but you don't have a body skill. So let's go jump some rope. Oh, after you go to the bathroom. Which you're going to have to go over here. And then go jump rope. And let's check on you, Judy. Judy? Judy, 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 Judy. Judy needs to go to the bathroom. So go upstairs. Everybody has to pee in this house at once. What the heck? And then all she wants to do is talk to Ceres. Maybe we can have her call her on the phone and talk to her. Um, yeah, let's have you call her on the phone. And while you're waiting on your man to come over, why don't you put away these leftovers, please? You didn't even get dressed. You didn't even get dressed today. And he's here. Uh, let's go greet him. Oh, I, th oh, I guess I do have a car hydrant. I guess I do. I th maybe that's what you, the person asking me was talking about. I guess I do have a car hydrant. I was like, what's the nanny doing here? Um, it's, it's in the corner somewhere. I usually put it in the corner of the lot. But it's invisible. <laughs> big booby. That was big booby juby. Big booby Judy. <laughs> big booby juby. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Hufflepuff girl. Wait. Oh, yeah, you're calling up your friend. Just, just talk on the phone. We're gonna focus on these two. Oh, let's dance. Dance together. She wants to dance. All she wants to do is dance. <laughs> Call her on the toaster. Here we go. Yes, let's get some romance going. Flirt with Buck. We gotta get this relationship going. Give him a caress. There we go. <laughs> oh, make out. Oh my God, okay. That went, that went quickly. Dance, flirt, make out. And woohoo time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, who is that? Wait, who is that back there? Tycho, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Can't you see they're trying to woo or make out, I mean? Um, let's go to the bedroom. And don't go in your parents' room for the love of God. I bet you they're going right in the parents' room. Oh, because there's no other bed. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! No, Paul, don't come out! Did they not realize he's in there? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, Sugar's Coffee 93. Thank you. Yeah, he better be deaf. Oh gosh. Okay, just hurry up, guys. Just hurry up. <laughs> that bad, I know. Uh, uh, let's check on the kids. <laughs> this one's jumping rope. That one's talking on the phone. Who? Uh, the maid is here now. Oh, God. Hurry up, guys. <laughs> he's too, he's too busy talking. Yeah. <laughs> You want to do it? You want to do a prediction if she gets if she gets pregnant from this? Now this is just a risky. This is not a try for baby, but we'll do a prediction. Um, uh, will Jill get pregnant? Yes or no? And let me see if I can change the time period. Yeah, it was on thirty seconds before. Okay, I'm gonna put one minute for this. One minute, because she could start showing symptoms like really quick. So we're gonna do one minute. There, go put in your predictions. Will Jim, Jill form Babby? The risky woohoo chance is... What do I have it set to? It's 10%. 10% chance, so keep that in mind. 10%. <laughs> Will she get pregnant from this? I 
I hear them having a great time in there. Oh, and he just got his skill point, too. Okay, you just stay in there. You just stay in there. Pretend like nothing's going on back here. And then once they get up, tell him a joke. <laughs> tell him goodbye. You took a risk. You never know. It might pay off. Oh, no, don't say goodbye. Uh, tell him a joke. Paul has no idea what just went on out here. He has no idea. And let's check in on the kids. You're still doing fine. You want to get a skill point. Which you're about to get another body skill point. So I'll just let you go on with that. And you also want to get gain a skill point. So you also don't have any body skill. That's like a really easy skill for children to get. So I usually just have them jump rope. Wow, he thought that was a hilarious joke. He does know, but he didn't want to interrupt, yeah. He's probably hoping she'll get pregnant so she gets out of his house. <laughs> he wants her to get married. Uh, let's see. But they have not rolled any wants to get married to each other or anything. Oh, she wanted to tell him an inside joke. Tell him an inside joke and... Oh, she's re-rolling everything. Dance, okay. Dance, flirt, give back rub, and talk. <laughs> I still hear Paul in there talking. <laughs> uh, Buck, Buck's aspiration is... Hold on, I'll tell you because I don't remember. He's popularity. I don't know what his, his... His aspiration is popularity. And so is hers. So who knows? They may not ever want to get married. He does. He's got a nose on him. He's got a honker. <laughs> oh, you want a screenshot? Oh, we'll get a... Let's get a screenshot of them dancing together. Let's get a nice... Aw, it's so cute. Oh, I gotta put the walls up, though. Okay, there we go. Screenshot. And let's go back down. And we'll get the kid, this one, to change the radio station. It's salsa and R&B today. <laughs> That's all you guys want. And then she can jump rope. She's getting pretty tired. You woke up at 3 a.m., kid. I don't know what to tell you. And let's check on Paul. Okay, it's about time for him to stop that. And go... Uh, let's have him go bake some lunch for the kids. Let's have... he Because he can cook really well, so he can make a lot of stuff. No, I don't know what I clicked. Let's make... What's the best thing he can make here? Fried chicken? <laughs> Go make a batch of homemade fried chicken for lunch. No, we don't have groceries. Oh, crap. We don't have groceries. Okay, you know what, Paul? Let's go. He wants to get new clothes, y'all. Let's go down to the shopping center. We're going to walk down to the grocery store. Well, I, He might re-roll the want to get new clothes once he gets there. Um, but let's, we got to go get some groceries. Going to the strip mall to get some groceries. A birthday today? I don't think so. No? We don't have any birthdays today. Mm -mm. We have... Uh, the girls are aging up in three days. That's our next birthday. Yeah, Jill has got eight days. Or Jenny's got eight days. Okay, let's go get some groceries. Aw, oh, hey, Jesse Joy. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> pizza does sound good when the fridge is empty. That's true. <laughs> I haven't had pizza in a long time. I don't want to lock it because uh, I would rather lock the other big, bigger ones. But he's got to go get groceries anyway. You had pizza for dinner today? I have a frozen pizza in there. 
But frozen pizza isn't as good. <laughs> it's not as good. No, he no longer wants to, to buy clothes, of course. I knew he was going to re-roll it. Uh, let's go get groceries, first of all. Go get those groceries! I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch today. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you who liked my vlogs, I made a little vlog and put it on TikTok. I have a TikTok. I have like 40 followers on there. <laughs> so if you guys have TikTok, go find me at Pleasant Sims. I put a little uh, day in the life vlog on there. It's like three minutes long. If you want to see, um, I might put some more stuff on there in the future. <laughs> yes, TikTok. I'm Pleasant Sims on there. You're one of those 40? <laughs> I put my I put my little vlog up. I worked on it all day yesterday. And it got zero views. I was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Where did you go? Uh, then I think somebody eventually watched it. Are you lounging in here seriously right now? Okay. You want to buy some jewelry? And watch TV. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home and go make some food for your family. <laughs> Aw, you use it, Mary. I'm glad you like it. I love this uh, building, too. It, it can lag a little bit because it's so big. I didn't think about that when I was building it. But uh, I still like it. Sims 2 dances on TikTok. <laughs> I should do that. I should do that. I'll do a Sims 2 dance on there. <laughs> you won't download TikTok even for me. That's fine. <laughs> you don't have to. I actually really used to hate TikTok. Like, I tried it, um, I don't know, probably like a year or so ago. And it was absolutely awful to me. And then I recently, like, downloaded it again, and it got better. I don't know if they just, like, their algorithm got better at, like, knowing what I want to see, but it's better than it used to be. It's not just a bunch of teenagers dancing on there anymore. But the problem I have with TikTok is I will, like, waste so much time on there. Because they make it so easy to just keep watching more and more stuff. It's very addictive. <laughs> oh, I have 68 followers now. All right. All right. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to put the vlogs up again. I think if I do vlogging, I'll just do little mini vlogs like that. I don't know. It was just like, putting that much of my life out there on the internet was not good for me. <laughs> It wasn't good for my mental health and people got really mad at me because I changed my mind a lot. You want to bring a, you want to bring Cersei Beaker over here? No. Uh, yeah, people apparently get really upset if you are a person who makes a lot of changes in their life. So yeah, I got attacked for that. So that's pretty much what drove me to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you finally got YouTube to stop showing you shorts. Oh, yeah, I went down the shorts rabbit hole, too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I might do vlogs again in the future, but I don't, I don't know. Right now, I'm just kind of doing, like, little mini ones on TikTok. You could do, th I could do three-minute videos on TikTok. It was hard for me to pack an entire day into three minutes, but I did it. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, what do you want to do? You want a woohoo? Oh my god, no. <laughs> you don't need to woohoo. Well, I guess she is on birth control. <laughs> She's gonna woohoo in this bed again. Oh god. We're, let's get these two out of here, first of all. She's hungry anyway. Did he make lunch? Oh, did he even come back? Oh, here he is. Let's go put away groceries and serve some food. Everybody's starving in here. <laughs> change is normal and healthy for most people, but I change a lot. 
I have a pro I have a mental disorder. <laughs> I have a personality disorder that makes me change my mind a lot, and I have um, an identity disturbance, so I change a lot. And I know it upsets people, but that's why I've decided I'm not going to share any of my plans for the future ever again. Because when I, anytime you hear me say something absolute, you can't believe me. And I, I hate to say that, but I do this thing that's called splitting, where I cannot see any shades of gray. I can only see things in black and white. So when I feel like I feel like I'm never going to play Sims of 4 again, I will say that and I will mean that. But later my mind will change. So I'm no longer going to say things like that. I'm going to try really hard not to. It's like really hard for me not to. Because at the time I feel that very strongly is true. But it never is. And it's just like a lesson that I can't learn because I have this problem. I'm not going to go too deep into it. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to know my freaking mental problems. But anyway... Uh, it's a problem that I have that I work on and people get really nasty about it. So I just have to try to like keep that part of myself off of YouTube and it's hard to do. It's hard to do. <laughs> Thanks guys. That's really nice of you to say. <laughs> It's extremely difficult to deal with. Yeah, it is. And it's hard to deal with it when you're in... Why, why are you going upstairs? When you're having to deal with it in public. You know what I mean? So, that's hard. That's even harder. Why are you serving a fried chicken to the desk? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll have Jill come up here and eat that fried chicken. Dad left you a plate of fried chicken in your room. <laughs> That's called a woman's prerogative. That's right, Mary. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the problem I have. Um, I have a big problem with not taking things to heart that people say to me. I have a really big problem with that, and I know that. But I'm getting a lot better at it. Um, I'm getting a lot better at it by just avoiding those people. <laughs> But sometimes you can't help it. Yeah, that's custom content. Yeah, the fried chicken is custom content. I probably got it from Mod The Sims. Probably. He didn't know what went on in his bed, no. Okay, who needs to eat? Who needs to eat? We got fried chicken. Fried chicken over here. Uh, you're good, you're good. You are exhausted, child. Oh my god, get up here and go to sleep. And you need to woohoo. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. We're gonna get a woohoo in. Uh, go relax. Yeah, I take it really hard. Like, I don't... I don't know how to describe it, but it affects me differently. It affects me harder than it should, you know? Not differently, but... I feel it. I feel my emotions more strongly than normal people do. So when people are assholes to me, it can, like, just crush me. Whereas a normal person would just be like, screw you, whatever. Like, I can't do that. So that's why YouTube has been so hard for me. Because, you know, there's a lot of people who are assholes. Um, but I'm working on it, and I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And I'm getting better about just avoiding the BS altogether. That's why I'm not on social media anymore, really. I'm still on Twitter, but I don't really go on there anymore. The twins are Judy and Jade. As soon as Paul gets out of the turlet, he's going to come in here and give Jenny what she's waiting for. <laughs> she's waiting for an after work woohoo. <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks, guys. That's really nice of you. Oh, yeah, I'm a fantastic um, partner. <laughs> I'm a crappy friend, I gotta tell you. But that's because of my introversion. Uh, let's... Where's Woohoo? Am I clicking? Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong one. Just Woohoo, don't try for baby. Um, Yeah, I'm a shit friend because... 
I can't, I can't handle any kind of obligation of friendship. Like, the last friend that I had that was really close, I was pretty getting close to, like, she wanted to hang out all the time, like, every weekend. And I was like, I can't do this. I gotta break up with you. <laughs> it's too much. Like, I can only be friends with someone if they're willing to, like, just want to hang out, like, every couple months. And, like, that's not fair to a person, you know? So, I don't know. I'm a really bad friend. I'm a very loyal friend, but I need a lot of time alone, and I can't hang out with you all the time. So, makes it kind of hard. People don't, people need a lot from you in a friendship, and I just can't give that to people. <laughs> yeah. Those perfect moms on Instagram. I will never be a mother. I have accepted that fact. But that's okay. Because it's, really it's really better that I don't have a child. <laughs> it's really better for everybody involved. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god, you, you're still here? Buck, you are still here? Okay, you need to go. <laughs> say goodbye. No, say goodbye. Good night. Thank you for coming over. I don't think Jill got prego, y'all. I don't think she did. She's gonna go to the bathroom. She's gonna get some sleep. We'll keep watching her. I know, I gotta have a lot of time to myself. I need a lot of time alone and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, I've been accused of being flaky a lot. I'm not flaky, I just don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> I just don't. Um, I, w I guess I would rather you think I was flaky than you think I'm a jerk who doesn't want to hang out with you because it's nothing personal. You know? <laughs> I can't commit to anything either. Uh, but I like to have, like, you know, I have a really good relationship with Andrew he, because he does not drain me like um, regular people do. <laughs> That's what you have to do when you're an introvert. You have to marry someone who does not uh, drain you of social energy. And he's an introvert too, so it works out. If you love sleep, don't have kids, yeah. I do. I love sleep. Okay, let's save, y'all. Yeah. I felt the pressure to have kids a lot in my life. And you guys know I was trying to... I tried to have a kid not too long ago, but I'm really glad that didn't work out for me. <laughs> I'm, like, really glad it, that it didn't. PCOS has been kind of a blessing to me. It's been a curse and a blessing. <laughs> I feel like everybody's a high maintenance friend. Uh, Andrew's doing really good. He's doing really good. He doesn't want to be on YouTube videos anymore. <laughs> and I don't blame him. You, you might see him occasionally, but he's not going to be like a big part of any of my videos. Yeah, I can't hang out with the same person every weekend either. Or even every... I need, like, a three-month basis. Like, I will hang out with you every three months. You can handle that. We can be friends. <laughs> An emotional vampire. Yes. That's what everybody else feels like to me, Mary. <laughs> You're stuck in me dry. <laughs> Aw, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Do do. Is anybody awake yet in this house? No. Everybody's still sleeping away. Oh, it's only 10.27 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go to speed three. <laughs> yes, oh, I can't... See, that's another thing. I can't stand anybody coming to my house un unexpectedly. Why are you awake at 11.30, child? Um, if anybody comes to my house unexpectedly, I will not answer the door. And I don't even care if you can see me through the window. <laughs> like, I do not answer the door. If you didn't tell me at least a day ahead of time... That you're coming to my house, you're not getting in. Because I need time to mentally prepare for your visit. And this is for family members, anybody. I also don't answer phone calls. <laughs> at all. I don't answer my phone at all. And if you want to tell me something, you can like leave a message or a text. And then I will decide if I can handle that conversation or not. <laughs> Man, you guys are really seeing how messed up of a person I am in this stream. <laughs> 
Me too, Hendrick. Yeah, I gotta have everything planned out. I have to prepare. Like, I have to spend time mentally preparing myself for social activity. And then I have to do the social activity. And then I have to spend time mentally preparing. Mentally, like, recovering from it afterward. And at that, I need, like, to block off, like, days. If I have to do something social. Like, I need, like, three days. <laughs> I need a day to prepare. A day to do the thing. And then a day to recover from doing the thing. <laughs> and I don't have, like, I'm not, I don't have social anxiety or anything like that. I think people get introversion and social anxiety mixed up. Like, I have no social anxiety. I can talk to anybody. I don't, I'm not nervous about it or anything like that. I just, it sucks me dry. It drains me. And I'm very extremely introverted. I'm like, on an introversion scale from 1 to 10, I'm like a 10 or a 9. At least a 9. Uh, and I would say Andrew is probably like a seven. He's like not as introverted as me, but he still is. <laughs> your friend showed up at your house once unannounced and saw you watching TV. Then called you to say she was outside and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm not socializing today. I would do, I would totally do that. Like people have to, people in your life have to understand your boundaries, you know? Um, and a lot of people are just not willing to accept that. Oh my god, we let the chicken go bad because I'm over here just running my mouth. Okay, kid. You can clean up. That's so nice of you. Look at this responsible child. She's just cleaning up the dirty, rotten food in the kitchen. <laughs> Everything I just described is you. <laughs> oh yeah, plus social anxiety, plus possible autism. Yeah. I don't have social anxiety, but um, I know I have had generalized anxiety, uh, but not from social. Okay, Judy, let's see. You're hungry. I guess you're just going to have to eat some cookies because nobody's awake to cook you any food. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're not. You're the wrong child. Oh, my God. Come back here. It's you. Uh, eat some cookies. <laughs> this family's so healthy. Your mother's a nurse. She's just letting you eat cookies in the middle of the night. The girls age up in two days. So tomorrow. It's Sunday now, so they'll age up on Monday. Oh, we have three days left in spring. I, th I was thinking we were doing seven day. Oh my god. I was thinking we were doing seven day rounds. We're doing we're doing uh, seasonal rounds. I don't even know if we left the beakers on the, at the right time. <laughs> okay, you're eating your cookies. You come down and get your cookies. <laughs> yeah, like I can I can socialize better online too, yeah. It's not so draining because I don't have to. I feel like the having to make facial expressions at people is dra very draining. If I'm just typing to you, it's not as bad. <laughs> okay, where are you, kid? Oh, that's the wrong kid. I keep choosing the wrong child. They look exactly the same. She's taking a bubble bath. Okay. She's taking a bubble bath, and then she can go use the bathroom and go get yourself some cookies. We gotta get Paul awake to cook breakfast. He's the best cook in the house. Here, why don't you go use the bathroom and then you can watch TV or whatever you're trying to do. You wanna watch a spooky cat lady movie, okay. Go to the bathroom and then you can watch a spooky cat lady movie. And let's check in on these guys. Okay, Paul, he could wake up, but like I don't wanna wake him up at 3.30. I hate making eye contact. <laughs> That's so, I know, I know how that sounds, but I hate it. I feel so uncomfortable when I have to sit there and like look into somebody's eyes for a long period of time. Even when I was at my doctor's appointment, I had to like look at my doctor and like we're both wearing masks. So it's just our eyes. I got nothing else to look at. It makes me so uncomfortable. I have to think about it the whole time. I have to think about keep looking in their eyes. Cindy, don't look away. Just keep looking at their eyes. It's okay. <laughs> I hate that. 
You can't make eye contact? Yeah. Why is this so loud? Um, prolonged eye contact is horrible. And if also, if, if I don't like somebody, if I dislike somebody, I can't look him in the eyes. I can't look them in the eyes because I know that they're going to see my disgust for them. And I can't handle the confrontation. <laughs> so if I don't like you, I can't look at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I, I never, like, really understood, like, what being an introvert meant. And my first husband was an extreme extrovert. And we had a terrible marriage because of that. And I wish I would have realized that like at the time, like that was the problem. Cause he always wanted to go out and party and hang out with people and bring people over the house all the time. And that just made me miserable. So then when I got, so then when I finally met somebody, when I met Andrew, like we were so happy together cause we like to do the same things. Like we feel the same way about people and stuff, so. Uh, thank you so much for the, uh, seven month prime sub genuinely, and thank you so much for the raid. It's Karen Terry, and hello, raiders. Okay, Jenny, we gotta get you up for work. Oh my god, you're about to pee your pants. Get up. Get up, you gotta go to work. Earn some money for the family. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible for me to hide my feelings, too, yeah. It's impossible for me to hide how I feel about somebody. If I don't like them, like, it's gonna show. And it just makes me very uncomfortable. I can't, I'm not, I'm a, I can't lie about things. I can't lie because I just, I know that the truth is just showing. <laughs> Literally the whole stream is introverts. I wonder if more introverts play The Sims 2. That's an interesting theory. <laughs> I like extroverts. They're fun to be around. It's just I can't be around for a long time. Are you getting ready for work, honey? What are you doing? Paul, you need to get in here and cook some breakfast because this family needs some food. <laughs> the Sims is an introvert game, yeah. I used to think that I had to try to be, like, before I understood, you know, who I am more. I used to feel like there was something wrong with me. Like, why don't I want to go to parties? And why don't I want to do all this stuff that all everybody who's cool wants to do? And then I realized, you know, it took me a long time. I was probably, like, in my late 20s before I figured it out. Before I realized that you don't have to do that. You don't have to pretend you're ha go to parties and pretend you're having fun when you absolutely hate it. Yeah. <laughs> People are NPCs to you. I like that. Okay, get in here and cook, Paul. It's time for some breakfast. We're gonna make... Ooh, let's make Eggs Benedict. <laughs> you guys know I have never eaten Eggs Benedict. Have you ever eaten it? It looks gross to me. <laughs> You're an introverted extrovert. <laughs> I hydrated for you, Sims lol. <laughs> I love being alone too, Mary. Yeah, it's best. Sims are way more interesting than real people, for sure. Because <laughs> I can control them. Um, okay, why don't you... This, this music is driving me insane. It's like so loud. Here, turn that off. Turn that off. Go use the bathroom, and then by then maybe breakfast will be ready, because I know you're getting hungry. And the kids are hungry, because all they had is cookies in the middle of the night, and they're going to have to take a nap today, because they woke up so in the middle of the night. <laughs> I never get bored. I never, ever am bored, ever. Um, I love doing things by myself. I love reading, walking watching tv like whatever playing games i just like being doing things alone i know it's really hard for like people who are more extroverted to understand because they enjoy and get more energy from social interaction but we're just like the opposite of that <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with either one it's just people are different me too hendrick i'm the same way like i never get bored 
I never get bored. <laughs> That's true, Star Penguin, yeah. Where is Jill? Here she is. I don't think she got prego, y'all. I really don't. Why don't you come eat some eggs, Benedict? Look, the whole family's gonna sit down, except for uh, Jenny. She's gone to work. That's so sweet. Look, we got a whole family uh, family breakfast here. And Paul made, he pulled out the big guns making eggs Benedict. I wants them eggies, mother. Oh, the Sabriel series? You know what? That's the first fantasy series that Andrew has ever, ever read. He read that. He told me about that because he read that when he was a teenager. <laughs> Not enough holiday sauce. <laughs> Not enough holidays. I don't see any holidays. Where's the holidays? Uh, okay. Let's put these away because we don't want this to go bad. This is expensive. This is expensive food. Put away single plates. Did he get overweight? No, I don't think so. I think that's just the shirt. Uh, nope. He's close, but he's not quite there. <laughs> he needs to start working out. Okay, his needs are all good. You want to buy a bird cage? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and yeah, guys, I do not think she got Prego. I don't. No, I don't think extroverts are crazy. I understand extroverts. That's just, you know, that's just the way they are. <laughs> Scott Dorke. <laughs> Thank you, Galactic Tides. I am doing well. Uh, we've been together for... Since 2008. <laughs> How long is that? 13 years? I had to count on my fingers. 13 years? Um, we're gonna have our 10th wedding anniversary into next year. We, we've been together since 2008, though. Oh, there was a screenshot. Oh, darn it. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see it. Uh, let's check in on the kids. You're doing okay. This child needs to go take a nap. Here, you stop that. Let's go have a nap for you. Oh, you can- oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, just sleep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes I wish I was an extrovert because life would be so much easier for me. Life, I feel, I, I don't know if it's true, but I feel like life is easier for extroverts, you know? Um, well, we're kind I don't know what we're going to do yet for our wedding anniversary. Because we're going on vacation in January, but our wedding anniversary is in May. So, I don't know. We're kind of like celebrating it then, but I want to do something else special. I don't know what yet. We probably won't do a, another big trip, though. <laughs> Ray McScriff. <laughs> I love those names. In 2008, you were getting into Twilight. <laughs> An Eagles concert. No. Aww. They're so cute. I can't wait to see the girls age up. I don't think we're going to get to it in today's stream, though. I don't think I'm going to go for three hours today. Because I'm still feeling a little bit weird for my medicine. <laughs> it's really, society is more set up for more extroverted people. It really is. At least in America. I don't know about in other places. <laughs> it's way easier. Yeah, I bet it is. It seems like it. <laughs> I don't find extroverts annoying. I like being around extroverts. They're fun to be around. And they help, like, they help you. As an introvert, they help me in, in social situations, you know. So I like being around them. It's just, you know, then I gotta go home and have, like, three months alone. <laughs> Afterward. The Netherlands tends towards extroversion? Really? That's interesting. Go to a Fleetwood Mac concert. I would love to see Fleetwood Mac. I'm going to see Van Morrison next month and I am super excited about that. Do you really want to get a job cooking? Seriously, Paul? Oh my god. 
<laughs> you're retired. You make more money from your retirement. I don't want to take, I don't want to take his retirement away for him to go get a job in culinary. Jill still wants to do nothing with her life. She's like, I want to watch a movie. <laughs> what do you want to do here? Write a novel? What is her hobby? Y'all, I don't remember. Where the heck's your hobby? Oh, film and literature. Oh. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, watching movies is her hobby. Okay, you're not writing. You go watch a movie. <laughs> go watch a spooky movie about a werewolf. That's your hobby. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel it. No, no. <laughs> watch a spooky movie about a werewolf. Oh, you still keep it? You still keep your pension? Oh, I thought you had to get, I thought you didn't get any more. Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot how to, I forgot how to get a job in The Sims 2. I've been playing The Sims 4 for too long. Okay. Uh, let's go find a job. We'll see. We'll give him something to do. <laughs> Yes, I know, Simternet Master. You're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, he's looking for part time. Yes, part time. Yes, part time. Look for part time. I guess we could have looked on the computer. We have a computer upstairs. He seems like the kind of guy who'd look in the paper first, though. He'd look in the paper first. Okay, nothing there. Let's go up to the computer now. Uh and see we got a little our little office over here let's go try we got two more ch two more shots at it you love tinker sims oh my gosh tinker's like my least favorite one <laughs> it works out for you ayla's world i'm glad it does i i was married to an extrovert and i could not handle it <laughs> it was too much for me uh, let's do part-time. How would I rank all the Sims games from worst to best? From worst to best would be... Worst would be Sims 4, followed by... I guess 1. I mean, 1 is really a masterpiece, but... For its time, but compared to the games we have now... And then 3, and then 2. Uh, okay, look again. You love Tinkering Sims 2? I don't know, it's probably my least favorite. <laughs> Bye, Mike! Thank you for stopping by! Or, you, you did more than stop by, thank you for joining me. I still play The Sims 1. I still like The Sims 1. But like, if- Oh, look! Culinary! Yes! All right, I did not expect that to be available. Yes, we're going to take that job. 45 a day plus his pension. Okay, he's going to work at 4 p.m. Good for you, Paul. Good for you. Staying active. And now he wants to get a kitten or a puppy. You got to tell me which one. And let's check in on the children. Yay! You want to jump rope? Go for it. She turned the radio off. She's like, I had enough of that. <laughs> yeah, Sims 1's hard to play for long periods. It is. I can only play it for a little while. <laughs> Bye, M13. Thank you for, for coming. Uh, okay, you want to gain a skill point? We'll let you gain a body skill. And then... Judy, is Judy, you need to wake up. You need to wake up, Judy. Judy, 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 Jude. Get up, honey. What do you want to do? Buy a piano? You want to buy a piano? We can't, we can't buy a piano. What is your hobby? We don't know what her hobby is. Maybe her hobby is music and dance. Have we tried? Let's try to find their hobbies. Here, let's have her go watch TV and we'll like put it on the dance station. What are you, you don't need to take a bath. Get down here. Get down here. We're looking for hobbies. <laughs> You built your house in Sims 1 when you were 8 years old? I didn't, we didn't have the Sims when I was 8 years old. I'm old. I'm old as hell. <laughs> okay, come on. 
I do too. I love to rebuild houses in The Sims 4 from the previous games. It's really fun. <laughs> that's like the only, that's the most fun I have in The Sims 4. Okay, so it's not sports. Let's try music and dance. I don't think it's music and dance. Uh, I don't think it's cuisine, but we'll change it to the yummy channel. Nope. Uh, weather? And it's definitely not uh, fitness. So what does that leave us? That leaves us um, nature, arts and crafts, games, and tinkering. Uh, okay, let's try games. I'm sure she's played this before, so it's probably not games. Paul's got to go to work. <laughs> You think it's tinkering? Damn it, it's gonna be tinkering after I just talked about how I don't like tinkering. Okay, well it's not games. Alright, how can we how can we test a child for tinkering? Can she read? Where's a bookshelf in this house? Uh go study mechanical. Maybe it'll be nature. Maybe it'll be nature. Yeah, science is pretty bad too, yeah. Because there's just not that much to do. Well, hello, Jenny. Nice to see you. You want to woohoo again? Dang. It's tinkering! Damn it, Nathan. You cursed me. It's freaking tinkering. Uh, okay, so let's see what her sub hobby is. Hold on. Hold up. Let's see what her sub hobby is. Um, so for tinkering, we've got... Five different options, and I'm just gonna roll real quick. And I rolled a two. So it's robot crafting! <laughs> wow, Judy's hobby is robot crafting, y'all. Uh, let me write this down. Robots. Um, oh my god, Jenny's hobby is toy making. Jenny's freaking hobby is toy making. I don't think a kid can use the robot crafting station. I know it is the most fun tinkering one in my opinion. Can kids use it? I don't think they can. Where the heck is this thing? Is that it? Robot craft crafting. She can work at Barb's store. Yes, we got two robot crafters in Strange Town. Uh, I just want to see if she can use this. I don't think she can. Nope. Nope. Okay, we'll just put this in her inventory for when she grows up. <laughs> she can work at Barb's Bots. Yes. I think that's a great idea. We'll, we will employ her over there. We got to remember that. Um, if she wants to get a job, she can get a job over at Barb's Bots. Barb's, Barb could use the help. I'm going to make a note about this. Get job at Barb's Bots. And also, we need to start a bank account for Jill. She has a hundred simoleons of her own. Where are you, Jill? Are you asleep? You lazy thing. Oh, no, she's just going to relax. Okay. Uh, we are going to start a bank account for her, which I don't think we've done. No. So let's deposit a hundred simoleons so that she has... That's all she's got to her name. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to craft robots, but mom. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, Robbie Cyrus. Thank you. Okay, she's got her hundred, her hundred bucks now. <laughs> Hello, thank you. And let's check in on everybody now. Oh, he's going to work. He's going to his job. You didn't pee first. He's going to his job as... He looks like he works at the hot dog shop. He's going to sling some wieners. <laughs> sling those wieners, Paul. <laughs> it's going great, Robbie. How about you? Yeah, she only has 100 simoleons to her name. It's pretty sad. She's got nothing going on in her life at all. Um, all she wants to do is, like, lay around and flirt with her boyfriend. <laughs> And her parents just let her stay here, whatever. Um, 
the kids, the kids are all right. This one's asleep. This one's studying mechanical. <laughs> Handling wieners just like his pollination technician days. Oh, is a trash can? Oh, yep. Okay. Jenny, get out here and clean up this trash can. I'm ignoring her constant wants to woohoo. She has a secondary romance, which I don't care for. <laughs> no money living with her parents. She doesn't care. <laughs> She's got the good life, man. She hangs on long enough she can inherit this house and all the money. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Um, I know it's only been two hours and 15 minutes, but I think I'm going to wrap up here. Let me save. And uh, as far as next week, I'll definitely be streaming on Saturday. It's possible I might stream again before then. Um, I'll let you know. So make sure you have notifications turned on if you want to know uh, when I go live. I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for the 100 bits, Ayla's World. And in our next uh, Strange Town stream, the girls are going to age up to teenagers. I'm so excited. That's going to be fun. And then they can go to the junkyard and hang out with the other teens. Hopefully they'll find somebody to love. <laughs> thank you, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, too. And don't forget, if you want to see my little mini vlog, go follow me on TikTok. I don't know how often I'll post on there, but I do have something on there now. So I'm Pleasant Sims over there. And that's really all I got. And I will see you guys. Oh, the poll. Oh, crap. Yes, the poll. Hold on. Let me give you your points. Dang it. Thank you for reminding me. So she did not get prego, right? It's been longer than 24 hours. Yeah, she did not. Okay. So it's no, guys. Petition. Thank you for reminding me. Jeez, I was just going to go. Dang it. Petition. Not petition. Petition. That's what I'm... Prediction. <laughs> I typed petition. Prediction. Uh, choose outcome, no. 64% of you guys said no. Complete prediction. All right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And, oh, no. You lost 55 points in roulette. That's not that bad. Uh, again, thank you guys. Thank you for all, all. Thank you so much for all the subs and the bits. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, very soon. Time for a petition. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.